Today, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the term wholesaling. Hey, it's Jeremy Ward, Ward Realty Services. And I'm sure like me, most of you have got a postcard in the mail saying we'll buy your house for cash. Sometimes it don't even have the right picture of the right house on it, right? Like these guys really don't even know. They're just sending them out to everybody, hoping for you to call and take a ridiculously low offer. Hey, I get it. It's America. Everybody wants to make money. But some of the things of this that's going on is called wholesaling. And this is where a possible investor, maybe just a guy carrying a contract, comes in and tries to work a deal with you on your home, probably buying it way below market value. Now they are not intending on buying this home. What they are doing is tying you up in a contract, getting you to agree to a price, and then they go out and try to find a buyer sell that house to them for a inflated price and they take the money right there in the middle i've seen this happen a lot um i can't say that it, it, i don't think there's a lot of integrity in it to be honest with you i would suggest that you call a real estate agent have them come out and tell you what your house is worth on market value before you agree to sell them to somebody like this uh, it doesn't usually cost you anything to have an agent come out and look at your house and give you an idea of what it's worth I just worry that there's a lot of equity being stolen out here. It would be one thing if somebody made you an offer and they come to the closing and they bought the house, but just to make you a low offer, tie you up and hopes to find a buyer that'll pay what they want for your house. All it does is put you in, it pauses you. It's a disadvantage to you to do that because what happens if they don't find the buyer to pay that inflated uh, price? They usually don't go ahead and buy it. They just, they got some fine print in their contract that lets them get a release from that deal and they move on and you might have just lost you might have just lost your home because the bank come and got it it wasn't closed in time you might have just missed your season in the market there's all kinds of things that can happen so guys look i don't know wholesalers can do what they want but i would suggest if it was somebody that called me wanting to know if they should sell it to a wholesaler i think i would at least go look at the house and try to say you know it's up to you what you sell it for but this is ballpark which you should sell it for so just some advice i'm seeing a lot of this going on and i'm getting a lot of uh letters and postcards in my bell box so that tells me it's it must be working somewhere they're, they're getting these houses for nothing and making a lot of money with no skin in the game so just be just be looking out for those letters and probably call your trusted agent before you agree to sell for more local real estate information please like and subscribe to the jeremy ward team youtube channel